From NPR Music's All Songs Considered, this is Project Song. The challenge, write and record a song in two days. On this edition of Project Song, Georgie James. Georgie James is the music of John Davis and Laura Burham. They're a pop band from the Washington, D.C. area. In the fall of 2007, they put out their first CD. It's called Places. They make pop music with a passion. I could tell their love for 60s AM rock radio. Even their name was inspired by a fairly obscure British singer, Georgie Fame. To kickstart the songwriting process, I put six photographs and six cards with words printed on them on a makeshift bar in our recording studio. Laura and John had to base the song they would write on one of the photographs and one of the phrases. That's where our story begins. Um, I guess if, if you had to be something, if you had to be something joyful or something gritty, I don't know, I guess just the mindset I'm in at the moment for writing a song would be more something joyful than gritty. That would be the one I would throw out first. Okay, so what were you As in like tossing it into the trash can. What were you thinking? I, per, for words, mm -hmm. went to these two, mm -hmm. David Bowie and 45. I like the idea, since we have a short amount of time, mm -hmm. that we would write something short and sweet that would fit on, that would be good on like a 45. Mm -hmm. Which is every song we write, though. Well, well yeah. Yeah. Well, you want to come back to words? Yeah, sure. I like this photograph a lot. There's something kind of youthful about a pile of books in the middle of an empty room, you know? Youthful, you said? Yeah. What, what's you know, like an idea about saying, oh, what's the point of these books? Why, like history? You, I mean, there's so, so many places you can go with this, and like the windows and... Hmm. Yeah, I wouldn't have thought youth, I would have thought more like sort of disuse or disrepair or neglect. I'm happy to go with this and write something joyful. I think it would be interesting because when I look at this photo, I don't see it as like, to me it seems pretty, pretty, pretty dark. <laughs> and so a photograph of a pile of books in a vacant office and the phrase, something joyful, would be the essence of a song yet to be written. wasn't long before Laura Burhan had a melody she was eager to try. And they spent the entire first day simply banging out ideas for the tune. OK, wait, wait, wait. So that's kind of a, a little riff that I have had rolling around in my head. One more time. Yeah. yeah. And then I like that. Yeah, that's good. I was thinking major. Like, it's kind of weird, which I sort of like. It's good. I kind of like it. I kind of like it. Let's also let's talk about what we're doing in C. Yeah. About the, if the vocal melody sort of followed that, like that, boom, 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 you know, like the just basically what I was playing the. Just those, not just those notes, but you know, the harmonies of some kind. Something's taken shape pretty quickly. Mm -hmm. Where'd the piano bit come from that came out like super fast? It was you? Yeah, I had uh, been at the space by myself uh, last week and started that riff kind of came practice, to me. Your practice, uh, practice yeah. space, yeah. And um, I said to John, "Hey, I w was working on this this new song and I want to play it for you." And I. This, today was the first time I, we'd uh -huh. actually been around each other where I could play it. Did it feel uh, any of this, the something joyful, or the, so. uh, mm -hmm. or, or the books? 
books. I, th I mean, I, I, I thought... I'm wondering where you're going for the books. I'm sorry. <laughs> yeah, I mean, like, I, I mentioned before, the books to me seem especially, like, when we get to the lyrics, but I, I, I felt like what I, what I was saying um, about, like, about the feeling of being rediscovered and, and like, uh, maybe appreciated again after, like, a period of, of obscurity. So let's let's just come up with a couple lines that we like. Yeah, independent of the music, okay. the melody, with things we talked about with the picture, which were um, the the, con the the concept of you know ideas and and work and like inspiration and passion and all those things being kind of consigned to a limbo or forgotten. I like that, and I also like there being like people we know now, mm -hmm. what they feel like is their life's work that. Maybe, um, you know, no one's paying attention to. On this second day, they tackled the lyrics. John and Laura figured that the best use of time was to both write words to the song. John went off into another room to write the verses. Laura sticks with the piano to work on the chorus. I got a little distracted by this crossword. Do <laughs> you mind taking it? Yeah, let's do it. But it's not finished. Yeah. But um, that's where it stands at the moment. Did you think of something for the coda? Yeah, it's just that little tagline that I had. Let's build a monument. So what were the things. words for the um, the chorus? I haven't really said it them. First line is, why build a monument to everything that might have been? And I wasn't so sure about the second line, because I had, when we were right here all along, or, I mean, I'm just not really happy with where it's going. I'm having a hard time getting my mind around all of it because mm -hmm. I feel like it's come out very abstract, you know? What do you want to say next? You know, it's like, why well, build a monument to everything that might have been? It doesn't even have to be lyrical, but like, what do you, what do you want to say? Why well, build a monument to everything that might have been when... Because it, it is. <laughs> it's not that it was or it could have been or might have mm -hmm. been, it is. Because I'm having a hard time finishing a thought that I didn't start. You know what I mean? Come up with another line for this. I just want to finish this, this stuff, and then, and maybe you keep thinking about this. That's fine. And I wasn't then, asking you to finish the line. I don't okay. listen to the song. And You're going to listen to the song? Yeah, just on the headphones and okay. uh, see if I need to write more stuff. This one for I'm wondering if we could do something with the melody there to make it interesting. Well, like uh, fist, fist were on. The higher, um, yeah, the higher one would be like kind of more of like more okay. action. Okay. I was born in a younger age when faces were plain and eyes were raised. Fists were unfurled and lonely girls knew every word of songs unplayed. What would you think of trying it more like a like a Talking head style? Instead of, because this it's kind of reminding me of Noe right now. Do you hear that at all? No. <sighs> I was born a younger age. Faces were plain and eyes were raised. This were unfurled and lonely girls knew every word of songs unplayed. It, I mean, it's, it, it wasn't like bad or anything. It was just that 
but I, I didn't like it better. Okay. Well then, let's let's just do let's do your way then, and okay. let's let's just get it done the way that we have it now, because I guess that's our okay, that's our thing. <laughs> Going into like John Cougar territory. With what? <laughs> just the whole. <laughs> the, just the chorus. The whole. I don't know. I just. You're talking about like the vocals, like your melody, like the coog. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, I hear it. It's got a whiff of coog to it. into a nightmare. <laughs> Let's leave our riding on the wall. Did you do Rod Stewart, maybe? <laughs> I can't do Rod Stewart, but I could do Michael McDonald. <laughs> if, if I had just come in and written a song solo, or if John had just come in on his own, I feel like, <clears throat> you know, we would have been much more satisfied with it. Uh -huh. Just because it's, it's really difficult when you have two people who are trying to meet in the middle. Yeah. We each have a different had a different vision of where this was going to go, right. and to try to very quickly throw that together is a, is a difficult thing. Mm -hmm. Difficult or not, in the final hour of the final night, Laura Burham and John Davis found something joyful. You can hear it in the hand claps and the fun vocals, particularly at the end of the song. One, two, one, two, three, four.
you guys come in for a second so you can hear what your vocals sound like? Yeah, yeah, yeah. On how to uh, proceed. <laughs> I was hearing it. I was catching a little bit at the end. I think it might work. I think it's awesome. It's, it needs to be faint or else yeah. it's more silly. It's a lovely surprise. Is it good? Yeah. yeah. 